greetings from Centre Parks, by the way. That's uh, that's the background. I hope you're all well. This is just ridiculous, though, isn't it? Oh, are you fucking having me on? Are you joking me right now? That's how deep that... This is how far they reach. Let me smoke that for you, Siri Merchant, yeah? Let me smoke that for you, Ted Lasso Bowley, yeah? You think you can fool us? You're a long way from Starbucks, mate. Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Let's have it right. So we're right up the Chels, up the Minnows FC. Big up to every single one of you live and locked in. Hope everyone's doing well, winning life. First and foremost, I want you all to smash to pieces that like button. If you haven't smashed it, smash it right now. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure you do. If you haven't hit the uh, notification bell, ding dong, let's have it right so you know when we go live. And we've got the Minnows FC Ultras membership down below in the description. And we have the Rumble minerals in the jungle so make sure you subscribe the rumble which we're going on very very soon links in the description below big up to everyone apologies for no no uh streams or or videos so we're uploading today and respect to everyone as you can see uh, that's the background um big up to everyone make sure you are smashing that like button and uh let's get straight into it before i get into the results and all that um, I'd never mentioned about Ghent. Um, now, I thought it was Genk, but it was Ghent. Ghent. Who are Ghent, bruv? Uh, they're no one. We steamrolled them. We beat them. But let's have it right. Um, as usual, we concede two goals. How we concede in two goals against uh, the, the shambolic team that we are playing against, it's a joke. It's embarrassing. And that's just, that's that's my worry. Um, it's great to win. We've gone on five five on a bounce. Fantastic. Everyone's lapping it up. Everyone's wanking in their clown lake socks. Respect to you, all you lot. Um, I understand it. Um, it suits your narrative of toxic positivity when in reality, like Enzo Mresca says, we're going to take it game by game, which is exactly what I'm doing. And game by game isolation, in isolation, we are learning the minerals on what is going on at Chelsea. Um, but first and foremost, before I get into that, um, I want to uh, I want to smoke this. That, that is the brown envelope pack. That is the brown envelope matrix pack. That is the YouTube pack. Now, let me explain something to you, because I haven't done anything since, right? On my last video, I told everyone that we, we had subscribers creeping up bit by bit. We were on uh, 12.298, and then it went up to 12.348. Um, now, someone fucking explained to me, all right, in less than 24 hours, how I can gain a 1,000 subscribers. And I ain't streaming, yeah? All you melts that are calling me a conspiracy theorist, yeah? Let's have it right. You can even fucking make a 1,000 subscribers. In how many streams it's going to take you? I worked it out. It would, would have taken me, on an average of 20 subscribers a stream, 25 subscribers a stream, that would take me up to, yeah, almost 35 live streams. I'm talking live streams to get me back up to them numbers. So don't fucking tell me. Yeah, that it's all uh, it's all made up and I'm making it up. It ain't made up because I tell the truth. I say as it is, they're trying to fucking sabotage my channel, which is why we're going to rumble as well. Let's have it right. But a thousand subscribers, you explain to me. Someone explain to me how that can happen, how you can gain a thousand in less than 24 hours. That's called shadow ban. That's called sabotage. They're trying to shut me down and they can't shut me down. It's no surrender mentality. Let's have it right. Shout out to our Chelsea old boys. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to our GOAT. Um, we see things they'll never see. So that's why I'm smoking that pack. So all you fucking toxic positivity merchants, that all you do is push out the same shit 24-7, all right? Giving it, getting paid nice amounts, bruv, yeah? And benefits, and nice little gigs that you earn, yeah? To get your subscribers, to get your accounts tickety-boo, yeah? I ain't like you, bruv, yeah? I hold my dick and my balls with two hands on my J's, mate. Yeah, you lot elephant walk wrong ones. You understand me? So all you inverted brown envelope wrong ones, you can go and, well, that's the background. Why don't you dive in there? Oh, you can't, can you? Sorry. What a shame, bruv. So I'm going to smoke you all now. Mm. It's mad that YouTube gets exposed like that. A thousand subscribers in less than 24 hours, mate. Yeah, make it make sense. Make it make sense. No one else is getting this treatment. No one else is getting sabotaged like this. Why? Why me? Why me? I'll tell you why. Because I'm the realist in the game 
and I say it as it is, and they don't like the truth that gets pushed out by me, and they want to sh they want to shut me up, they want to silence me. They can't do that. They never will be able to do that because I'm not bought, and I don't affiliate with anyone, bro. Let's have it right, yeah. Let's have it right. I've been approached by all sorts of people, bro, for, for to do some sort of link ups and this and that with my channel, bro. I ain't a sellout, bro, and that's it, man. I'm a self made minerals general on my platform and i will continue to speak the truth about chelsea so in this game of isolation in isolation nottingham forest and chelsea chelsea won um forest wood let's have it right that we got fed one we drew against nottingham forest at home last year we lost at home to nottingham forest so oh everyone's going that's an improvement i bet is it an improvement really 1.5 billion um, we've gone on five wins on the bounce. Is that an improvement? No, it's absolutely fucking shambolic. Oh, but wait a minute. They beat they beat Liverpool, didn't they? They beat Liverpool at the clock. Yeah, with 11 men, they beat Liverpool. Um, and they just about beat Liverpool 1-0. And fair play to them for beating Liverpool. I've got melts I'm seeing on the timeline going Liverpool. Um, you know, they got beat. And Liverpool are sitting top of the table. Yes, they are. And like the agenda on Liverpool, which I all agree with, man. Dippers in the mud, so have it right. They haven't played anyone above the middle of the table, all right? And they're top of the league. Well, we haven't played anyone, bar City, above the middle of the table. Um, and we lost to Manchester City, which is the benchmark. That's when you say, yeah, we're back. Yes, we are challenging. Yes, we look like we're progressing, bro. But we lost to City. We should be beating these teams. And we didn't beat Nottingham Forest. And on a run that we are in the form, the so-called form that we're in, all right, we should be beating Nottingham Forest. And let's have it right, yeah? We went 1-0 down with old Woody. You know what I'm saying? Toy Story, landing it, was he? Yes, 1-0 down. Why are we going 1-0 down against Nottingham Forest? Oh, is it low block, is it? Oh, we got so many minerals, bruv. we got so much creation. What did we create in reality? Cole Palmer, let's have it right, had an off game. A lot of misplaced passes. Um, corners were an absolute shambles. Mudueke took about, what, five shots before he actually equalised and scored. I mean, they were rugby shots, every single one of them. Um, the guy's not Chelsea level, and I don't care what you tell me, bruv. And to believe, believe it or not, all right, this guy was the most main threat for the entire game. Should worry everyone that Mudueke on the right is the main threat. He should not be the main threat, and he should have been substituted off. But how can you substitute someone who, what, apparently got man in a match? He's fucking shambles, bruv, all right? And then we look at... Um, uh, slosh pot jackson he's too busy playing handbags and, and wants to slap up people instead of banging in goals bruv and john Obi mckell says oh we, we created a monster since he's fucking come out and said that bruv this guy ain't scored a goal bruv i mean this guy's not not doing what we should be doing if we had victor osiman up front in that game yesterday we would have won the game and kunku's chances jackson well he would have been more more um visible let's have it right and more involved in the game if we had victor ozerman but these clowns egg barley siri merchant didn't want to pay more than 150 grand a week when we we're the only ones going into victor ozerman left facts probably got shadow banned for that with having bushy lava on there bruv who knows victor ozerman personally drinking them mineral brown envelopes you understand me drink them fucking in because that's the true narrative but you didn't put that out you didn't quote tweet that did you? you didn't put his quotes out now why would you it doesn't suit the narrative fuck you Literally, that's how it goes. Um, and then I look at the midfield. Casado, uh, let's have it right. I mean, I think he's the best best midfielder we got at the moment. Um, and, and Enzo Fernandez, bruv, captain, number when Frank Lambard's number eight. Um, number eight that Kovacic was wearing. By the way, Kovacic scores two goals, what, from outside the box, and Man City win. And he was dead with these clowns in the fan base. Said These clowns in the fan base. You've got to be very, very careful what they come out with, bruv. Yeah? He ain't no dead wood, bruv. They ain't got no Rodri's, no Rodri FC, and they're still fucking winning games. You know what I'm saying? And Kovacic is bagging goals. So, right, what are we doing here? Uh, what are we doing here? Even Kai Havertz, man, he's balling out, bruv. Yeah? Great goal. Um, involved. He's just commanding it. He's He's got same stats as Haaland, bruv. GA. And you're talking numbers, yeah? And he's not even a proper striker, bruv. What are we doing here, bruv? I'm smoking that as well. Because mm. apparently Havertz, what? Jackson's better than Havertz, is he? Is Jackson better than Ozzyman? Get out of here, man. You're a long way from Starbucks, man. What's all this fucking prop? It's a joke. Standards are in the mud. And then Enzo Fernandez, bruv, it's a disgrace that he's wearing the captaincy armband. It's a disgrace. I mean, this guy's chasing shadows against Nottingham Forest's midfield. This guy's running in mud. This guy got hooked at fucking 70th minute, bruv, when we're trying to win the game. Tells you everything you need to know. And fair play to Enzo Maresca for getting him off the pitch because he was shit. You know what I'm saying? What are we doing here? Where's he for Varna? Dubious, bruv. I mean, what are we doing here? This guy's all over the gap. 
Cucurella getting a yellow card. The discipline in our team is a joke. We're going to get fines. Jackson's probably going to get suspended, bro. And Cucurella's suspended for the Liverpool game. He's got another yellow card. So is Fafana. So we're losing first-team players. Where Enzo Mosca looks like he's getting the first team going, that we're losing players. We're losing players in, for the big games, the big fixtures coming up. And this is the real test. You see, I'm taking a game in isolation. If you are telling me that, you like yesterday, was not an embarrassment, and the fucking outright disgrace that we draw of Nottingham Forest. And people go, oh, these games happen. No, they shouldn't happen. They went down to 10 men for, we had 25 minutes to the rest of to 90 minutes, plus 13 minutes add-ons, all right? And you're telling me that it was a, they're a good team. Nottingham Forest are a good team. And we, we, we got, we, you know, we salvaged and got a draw and it's a good result in, in the grand scheme of things. What are we doing here, man? The standards are in the fucking mud. They're, 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 it's a joke. It's embarrassing. And then you melts, yeah, you inverted brown envelope, wrong in accounts, you AI bots. They want to get in my comments and tell me, oh, I'm waiting for this. I'm waiting for this. I ain't waiting for this. If you go and watch me, you fucking idiots, you go and see how positive I have been on the team and what and what praise I've been giving, game by game in isolation. Well, I'm not giving any fucking praise for this game. This game is an absolute disgraced embarrassment. We should be beating this team in the so-called form we're in, all right, with the amount of fucking billions of pounds on the pitch or millions to say, all right, what are we doing? What are we accepting here? Why are you saying Nottingham Forest is a good team? They're not a good team. They're not a fucking good team. They're organised, and that's the point I'm making. When you come up against an organised Premiership team, Premier League team, then you see what we're all about. Now, Cole Palmer wasn't very great in that game. There was one moment where it was just magical, bruv. It was Burkamp esque minerals, that touch which just flicked it round and went round the player. It was, it was just beautiful, sublime. It was worthy of a goal, man, and a winning goal that would have been. And again, we would have been seeing Cole Palmer, FC, saving Chelsea Football Club. He couldn't do it this game. He couldn't do it. And while you got Jackson, Sloshpot Jackson, you know what I'm saying? throwing slaps about and all our all of our teammates, so all his teammates getting stuck in and everyone's having a riot because Cucurella fouled a player and then the player went and chipped and took a nick on Cucurella. Cucurella went into our gaffer and everyone spiced it up and wanted to play handbags. Carl Palmer's just literally fall down on his ass, just sort of going, what's fucking going on here? I'm not getting involved because he knows he's too elite, bruv. He knows he's got too much mentality. This is ridiculous. We're trying to win the game and we've got all of this commotion and pantomime going on to make it out like, oh, we're all proper chills. It's embarrassing, bruv. You've got to earn to be proper chills. You've got to go and win trophies. You've got to go on a dominant run. You've got to compete at the highest level with the benchmark of Man City right now. But we're not doing that. And that's why you take every game by game, because I'm telling you now, all you little inverted wrongers trying to come at me, I'm so negative and I'm waiting for this. I ain't waiting for it. I want Chelsea back. I want Chelsea winning trophies. But right now, we don't look like we're going to be that. We're a long way from it. And if you think that this is progress when we were fucking champions of the world, champions of Europe, all right, top four comfortably, this is not progression, bruv. This is nowhere near progression, bruv. Yeah? Facts. Mm. Inverted wrongens, bruv. You all are, yeah? Because, oh, what? I'm against the narrative. I'm with the true narrative. I know football. You talk to people that know football, know it, bruv. We are inconsistent. And yesterday was a, oh, it happens. It's one of those games. All right, are we going to say that against Liverpool? With suspensions, if we don't win, are we going to say it happens? It's just uh, one of those games? Or are we going to say, no, we're not actually at that level and be honest about it? You're all full of shit, you know? And you don't call out. Enzo Fernandez was shocking yesterday, again. And he hasn't done anything, you know? Um, Conor Gallagher scored more goals playing for Atletico Madrid than, Conor Gall uh, than uh, Enzo Fernandez, bro. I don't know what this guy offers in our team. He absolutely offers at fuck all, yeah? Sanchez had to put up two absolutely class saves, and that's in injury time, 13 minutes of injury time, yeah? All right, extra time, save it right, yeah? Why? Why are we, against 10 men, allowing them to have two winning game opportunities? And most of our chances weren't created by our beautiful play and inverted and horizontals and possession-based football. It was based upon their fucking mistakes. And it's always the opposition's mistakes that we capitalise on. And it's very difficult to capitalise on mistakes. And we had done that um, against uh, Brighton. We've done it against Seagull Merchants. Oh, Spurs here back. Let's have it right. They got done 2-0 up and they lose to the Seagull Merchants. Yes, we love that. Drink it in. 
drink it. Here. Yeah, back, back with a bang. Let's have it right. Um, so I, I, I want to question that. You know, why are we allowing these chances? Why is why is not in a forest allowed to have those chances? Why are we getting played like that? They low block us, yet we we meant to have amazing talent to, to deal with it. We bring on Mudrik on, who makes a great run, plays the ball, and it's a sitter miss by Nkunku. But Nkunku isn't playing regular. He should be starting over Jackson. Jackson was a ghost. He was doing the, the Michael Jackson song, Ghost. Let's have it right. That's what he was doing. He was reenacting that. He was a fucking anonymous. I don't know where he was, bruv. You know, he's probably dreaming a slush pot. Where else, Sammy? Um, but uh, he needs to get extra motivation. Because all of this shushing and all this, yeah, it's it's all gone out the out the window now. We we, we ain't seen none of that, you know. And, and like I say, when Cole Palmer doesn't deliver the minerals, and he almost did, but when he doesn't, you know, phew, mate, where are we getting goals from? Mudueke, bruv, what are we doing here, bruv? I mean, very good goal. I'm not gonna take that away from him. It was a good goal, but how many chances did he need? He needed six. So he scored one out of six. Why? Your decision making is appalling. In, in in throughout the game, it was appalling. Um, he, uh, then Enzo makes the changes and he he brings on what's his name? Um, uh, Felix brings on Felix, brings on Mudrik, brings on Nkunku, um, makes his changes or whatever. Um, and Nkunku, uh, not Nkunku, Felix, he plays like he's he's just fucking like a little baby on the beach or something. I mean, he's just it's just no intensity, there's no hunger. I mean, he had a chance as well. That header, what was he doing? Again, if you don't give them minutes, you don't give them momentum, you don't give them a bit more time, how are they supposed to get the minutes and adjust? And, and it's going to come to a point when Kunku and Felix is a net as this, this world. And Neto scored a great goal against Ghent, so have it right. You know, if you, why are you not playing them? Play them, you know? I get all this, you want to get a, a first team going, but maybe the ones that you're picking in the first team just ain't really the first team. Maybe they're just not good enough. Maybe they don't deliver how they should be delivering. And I don't care what you fucking tell me, yeah? We should have been beaten on the forest. We had enough chances in that game. All the XG porn merchants, they're, they're literally creaming themselves. Oh, it's, look at this. Well, tells you, buy fucking Osman then. Go and get a striker. Now we're getting links of Gikarez and all this who I want. Let's have it right. Bane Minerals. Yes. We fucked up on Osman, but we're going to try and get Gikarez. That's the PR now. Oh, whatever, man. You're a long way from Starbucks, mate. Until I see it, I don't believe it. You know, um, and goalkeeper Sanchez, yes, he made great saves. Fair play. But what are we playing against? Not in a forest. Chris Wood was off as well. You know, they had their, their best player injured, their number 10, went off injured. How are you not capitalizing on 10 men forest? Like, what are you doing? What are you propping here? And you want to come and outright call me negative that I'm waiting for this. I ain't waiting for it. Oh, he hasn't tweeted or he hasn't put anything up, bro. I am not put anything up at all, bro. You think if I'm that bothered about clicks, mate, yeah, would I be on YouTube, bro? I'm getting shadow and fucking assassinated on here, bro. Yeah, it's like the assassination of Trump here. But let's have it right. We're dodging bullets 24-7 because that's what we do on here. No surrender mentality. You can't shut us down. And can everybody just stop getting shot is what I've got to say about it. My thing is this, right? What are you propaganda in? We're going in an international break. We've got Liverpool coming up, Newcastle, Man United. We've got some tough games away as well. Let's have it right. We need to get results, you know. This should have been a three-pointer. And then we could say, yes, we're getting points. Well, this, this, these points drop could be the difference in us getting top four at the end of the season. You see, we're seven games in and everyone thinks we're back. Everyone, well, the data tells us that, doesn't it? The XG tells us, oh, we're, we're top chance creation and all this shit. You can't base it on stats. Stats is a part of the game, but you have to deliver. And unfortunately, if, you, if you're just going to rely on Cole Palmer, and you, you're not, it's just unfair on the kid. It's unfair on the kid. You know, he's absolutely top, top draw. He's a, he's a fucking baller, but you can't just rely on him. He can't always dig us out. And other players have got to step up. And there's no goals from midfield. Again, we're built a midfield where there's no goals from midfield. You know, you've got Kova, who's scoring goals from midfield, crying out loud. And that was Deadwood, apparently. You know, what are we doing here, bro? What are we doing here? And this defence is not good enough. We're conceding goals every single game. And we were, listen, that um, Nuno got set them up very well, but you saw their mentality, you saw that they had a game plan, you saw that they had a bit of dark arts in them, 
and we couldn't break them down. But why couldn't we break them down? They've got 10 men, for fuck's sake. Where's the tacticos? Where are they coming out from? Yeah, because you're all hiding, bruv, to try and explain that. I don't care what you tell me. I'm very embarrassed. It's a fucking disgrace of a result. And I don't want to hear, oh, Enzo Mesca comes out, they're boys, but they, they're, they're, they're like men. They're not men. They're not men until they get over the line and they win trophies and they're dominating. I don't give a fuck what you tell me, yeah? Your standards are in the mud. My standards will be right up there where Don Roman kept them, all right, and, and made them those standards. I will hold those standards. I'm not dropping my standards for no one, absolutely no one. I will support the players. I support the manager, who I think has been very good up to this point, and he's doing all right with the situation of, the, the shit hand he's been dealt, let's have it right. He wanted Victor Osimhen, personally wanted him, spoke to him twice on the phone, let's have it fucking right. Um, so he wanted him, didn't get him, and he was fuming. Um, go and ask Bushy Laba about that. Or go to my video where uh, where he, we actually said it and there's actual evidence, bro. Yeah. Um, so um, I, I, I personally, you you know, where is Ed Barley now? Where's Bowley? Where are they? They're not shushing everyone. I, I, I'm just asking. I'm asking, I'm out here. I'm just saying, are they, are they shushing anyone? I don't see them out in the media. I don't see them giving it fucking bigger now, do they? It's like they only want to come out when we win a game. I come out when we win, lose or draw. And my narrative's the same. I want trophies. I want top, top standards. I want elite level, all right? And I'm not getting that. Now we're hearing rumours of Thomas Tuchel maybe going to Manchester United. I'll tell you this now, I will fucking lose my head. I'm fucking rattled if Tuchel goes to Man United. They don't deserve him, firstly, all right? They're a fucking shambles of a football club right now. They're in the gutter, all right? They are literally in the gutter. They're all over the gap. But a Tommy T will come in and he'll sort it out. He's a problem-solving gaffer. And if they do build with him, and it's not this yes-man tax that they're trying to copy from our clowns that run us, yeah, that everyone's sucking on the pipe of, all right, then I'll tell you what, he's going to land some minerals, old Tuchel, yeah? Be reunited with Mason Mount. He's going to have a lot of players. Delit there as well. He's going to have Martin. He's going to have a lot of players there in that team where he's going to rejuvenate and he's going to get them playing and build a team that everyone fears, which is what he said for us. No. You know, everyone's probably going to be cursing it. Well, let's have it right. Old uh, Brent de Cesar, a.k.a. Mark Goldfish. Hello, you wrong and bruv. Yeah. He was the one that seen the gender on Thomas Tuchel when he was at Chelsea with old Nini 10% discount merchant. Yeah. All these other, all these big platforms, female old Chelsea on the decline under Tuchel. We can't coach and tap. Watch this wrong and go and go, old Tuchel. We got Tuchel. We're going to be amazing after he's realised that, you know, the Branhams that run out because Bald Hog's been fucking sacked. All right. This is the game, bro. They're all full of shit, man. Every single one of them. They all give a shit. And sides coming at Mason Mount and this and that. You fucking ruined Mason Mount. Your club's fucking ruined him. Your medical team shit. The gaffer you got shit who, who fucking bought him doesn't even play him in his right position. Keeps playing Looney Tunes, Goofy, Fernandez, bro. What the fuck do you expect? And then, I mean, it's just a joke, man. Your whole team's a joke. You know what I'm saying? You're calling for bald hog, mate. I'll be on not just the Glazers. I'll be on Ineos right now because they're fucking shambolic for keeping that geezer. So what if he's won an FA Cup? That was Roman Abramovich. Roman Abramovich is sacking bald hog. Irrespective if you won an FA Cup or two trophies in two years, that's not good enough. And that's not Manchester United level. Tommy T, you lot, you don't fucking deserve him in the state you're in. And I'll be very, very pissed off if he goes and signs for Manchester United. You know what I'm saying? What are we doing here, bruv? What the fuck are we doing here? And Kai Havertz, man, absolutely balling it, bro. What does the data say there? The data says there. And by the way, in the Nottingham Forest game, we had not, uh, eight shots on target. And what did Nottingham Forest have? Nottingham Forest had nine shots on target. Someone explained to me, 10-man Forest, why they got nine shots on target and we've only got, we've got less than them. Someone fucking explained to me this. Oh, what is it? Oh, they're just a really good team, are they? Where are they sitting? They're sitting 10th, you fucking idiots. We're playing mid-table clubs, mid-table teams at home. We should be beating them. We just about beat Bournemouth. We drew with Crystal Palace. What, like, why? What, what, what's, what are you lot seeing that I'm not? You know, because you don't see what I see. You don't see the truth. You don't see the realness in the situation. You're just too busy getting your clicks because it's, it's deemed as, it's negative to tell the truth. But when you lie, it's, it's popular. It's deemed as the truth telling bullshit and false hope. It's all for clicks. It's so that you get the clicks, you get the interactions. If you're positive and you don't come at the ownership, you don't get attacked like me. Because the moment all these platforms come at the ownership and all your Twitter accounts, you get fucking shadow banned like that, bro. Instantly. You get done. Done like gippers, bro. What are we doing here? You know? 
this is the way I look at it. This is the way I only see it, bro. You know, our chance is created from mistakes. Um, and um, everyone goes, oh, I'll put the game in context. Well, I'm putting it in context. Yeah. You should be beating a 10 man forest. I don't care what you tell me. There is nothing you can expect. We've had enough chances. Their goalkeeper made that save against Cole Palmer with that magic. Yeah, it's a Burkamp magic. Yeah, all right. And we've had a few other chances and he made a great save. The Nkunku chance as well. I mean, either side of the goalkeeper, it's a goal. But if you don't take your chances, you don't win the game. And that's the story of Chelsea. We don't have that beast, that monster up front that John O'Reilly McKell claims that we've got. And he, that he's made this monster. He ain't made a monster, bro. He's made a fagazi. This guy's not Chelsea level and they're not going to be consistent. And because he's pissed off that he can't score goals and he was out of the game, he decided to throw his handbags at, at Nottingham Forest. It's just embarrassing, bro. You know, hold your fucking heads. But they're too, they're too young. They're all too young. They don't know. They're inexperienced. And that's the way it is, bro. That is the way it is, bro. Yeah. You've got to rely on Sanchez, who's who's absolutely nowhere near. He's third choice Seagull Merchants goalkeeper, and he's our number one. We've got to rely on him to keep us in the game so we don't lose it. You know, we could have lost that game. He's fucked. And it's not, it's not Chelsea. And it's not acceptable. So fuck your data, fuck your false hope, fuck your toxic positivity. Because the reality is I'm calling this game out in isolation. I'm not saying the whole season. It's a fucking embarrassment. And if you do not agree with that, then your standards are fucking Spursy standards. Your standards are with Clown Lake because there's no ambition to truly keep the levels up. If everyone kept the levels up and, and they go, oh, you're not supporting your fate, your plastic, this and that. All right, cool. Whatever whatever helps you sleep at night, you little Twitter virgins. I'm all good with that. It don't bother me, bro. Yeah? I'll just, I'll just call it out for what it is, you know? And go and watch my streams, you fucking idiots. And then you'll understand. And then you'll understand, bro. You know? Go and see when we've won games, what I've been saying, bro. Praising players where they deserve praise, you know? And when they don't perform, which is going to be the story of the season, it's going to be up and down. The date is going to go up and down, up and down, up and down. Just like you lot, all day long, in your mum's basement, yeah? We don't do that out here, all right? Grow a pair, all right? Get out, get some fresh air, and, and, and just sort yourselves out and understand. Now we've got international break, you know? And, and let's have it right. The PR is going to flow out. All the PR is going to come out, as usual. Um, but yet you'll have the inverted toxic positivity accounts to call it out and go, oh, look at them. They just want to have a dig. Oh, like I haven't tweeted. Of course I tweeted. Of course I put out tweets. And I've praised it, bruv. You saw the Ghent fans. Ghent fans show more passion and more minerals than we fucking do at home. All right? Pulling our seats off, ripping our goat our legend Tamblin's banner down, bruv, all right? Showing hatred and passion. That's what football should be about in terms of rivalry and, and atmosphere. We haven't got that. We've got prawn-eating sandwich merchants, you know? That's what we got at Chelsea. We've got a fucking attack, 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 defence, defence. It's fucking embarrassment. It's an embarrassment, you know? It's, it's just, it's all over the gaff. And that was a joke, how they got away with that. If that was Chelsea supports, we'd be getting banned left, right and centre. If if we if we did what Enzo Fernandez did, we'd have got a lifetime ban. But for, for players, it's different. For opposition teams, it's different, isn't it? It's always that case, bro. Because there is an agenda. But my agenda's not on Chelsea. My agenda's on the fucking owners and the clowns that have destroyed our football club. And until they are winning, until we are dominating, I ain't fucking going nowhere. And I'm not going to drop my standards for anyone. And I'm going to keep the pressure because pressure makes diamonds to have it right but also what i say and what i do it rattles you little wrongins you know stop being pricks you know just just be just just call it out for what it is call a spade a spade we should have won we were shit and and let's move on to the next game you know and let's go into this tough fixture list and hopefully get get enough points let's go and beat liverpool let's go and beat newcastle let's go and beat um uh manchester united away at old trafford you know let's go and beat arsenal and spursy coming up yeah Let's go and do that. And then we can say, yes, we're beating top teams. You know, we're beating teams that have got a lot more about them. That's where we can say Chelsea are progressing. But right now, we are not progressing. Liverpool have got a test as well. Liverpool are getting the results. But Liverpool got experience in their team. So when they do play the big teams, they'll be there. Let's see how they react. It's going to be a long season. Um, and uh, we're all looking forward to it. But the reality is, what are we doing here, bruv? Yeah? I'm not having it. Like I'm not, I'm not accepting this result. This this result is is an embarrassment to us. 
Yeah. And we are conceding far too many goals. And our defence is a joke. Our defence And I'm hearing Colwell, oh man, he plays so amazing out the back. Yes, great. Let's defend. Let's protect our, our, our goalkeeper. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Sees what it is, you know. Um, and uh, Enzo Mareska, he's got, to, he's got to sort it out. We've got a big game at Anfield, so we're right. And we've got to win. We've got to land it, bro. So respect to everyone in here. Respect to every single one of you in here. Um, smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Um, make sure you go and follow me on Rumble. And put all your comments down below. And as always, we will leave you with the GOAT, Don Roman, um, where my standards lie, and I'm not dropping them for no one. So a bit right. Um, so as always, up the Chels. Up the Minnows FC. Big up to um, all, all my ultras, bruh. And uh, no surrender mentality. Hmm. And we will continue to smoke that brown envelope matrix pack. And all you inverted... Toxic positivity, wrong and it's bro. Yeah. So nine and four is a good team. What are we doing, man? What's happened to us? What is going on? Fuck me, man. Yeah. What is going on? Embarrassing. Up the gels. Up the minerals FC. Salute our Don Roman. No surrender. Comments down below. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no.